Head Clicker Online Tarkov Edition is a recent favorite of mine. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. When my mother was pregnant with me, she forgot to go to church one Sunday, and so I was cursed by God with poor aim and autism. The poor aim led me to buy Kovac Aim Trainer, while autism compelled me to make detailed charts about it. Seriously, I had about a 13 minute video planned and half edited before I realized no one cares about graphs. Kovac is a next-gen military sim that takes place during the Red Cube Genocide. You can choose to fight one of three factions, the Red Cubes, the Crimson Spheres, or the Scarlet Capsules. But the real question is, after 30 hours of massacring geometric shapes, am I any better at Head Clicker Tarkov or Head Clicker Hunt? No, not really, because as I learned, clicking on heads is only half the battle. One might assume that more gun bullets pouring down range will increase the odds of enemies entering loot pinata mode, but I've learned that accuracy is actually more important than speed. Shooting twice as fast but missing three times as much is slower than firing half as fast and hitting every shot. Or as they say in the porn business, take the time to aim. Man who slaps green for a living only got so fast because he does it correctly. Likewise, people who click on heads professionally are only so good because they've done it so much. So instead of trying to emulate the Tarkov speedrunners, it's better for newer players to find situations where they can take that extra time. Now, like most true gamers, I've adapted a curved spine for optimal gameplay efficiency. Besides, straight spines are for losers who think lifting things makes them look cool. Yet I found that after multiple hours of Red Cube Genocide Simulator, the common goblinoid gamer position causes pain in my wrist, like tiny needles all drilling into me at once. I found the upright human position to be better in the long term and offer much more control overall. As any gamer knows, losing is only ever caused by influences completely out of your control. Besides, my controller is broken and I hate too many brownies. Kovac gave me another valuable excuse. Divine karma. Perhaps you had a gay thought or had accidentally liked a piece of furry porn, but some days you just can't perform. You see, life is not like a video game. Even though you may have level 85 mining, some days you just can't mine that runite. After playing Kovac for those 30 hours, I did feel myself ascending into true gamer godhood. Whenever I started up a game, I immediately launched into a musical montage of rapid-fire kills. They poured from my streams and arranged themselves onto a timeline as if begging to be posted on YouTube. Well, that may be an exaggeration. You see, even though I had improved my ability to click on people's heads, I realized that often, there were just no heads to be clicked upon. And in fact, it was my head often clicked on by others, from places hitherto unseen. And for it is written, Gamers shall not live on clicking heads alone, but by every word that proceedeth out the mouth of Shroud. You see, before you can make a man fall down, you must know his location, and that requires glasses unclouded by Dorito dust, and ears unclogged with lo-fi hip-hop radio beats to relax slash study to. Regardless of whose head you're clicking on, you must know how many clicks it takes to down him, and various other game-specific quirks. You won't learn that from an aim trainer, so instead, Simply play whatever version of Head Clicker suits you. Well, I hope that my experiences with Kovac have helped you in your own quest to be a true gamer and get that Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship you've always wanted. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you have a wonderful day.